Juice is here. I understand he has his new teeth in. Ooh, he just teeth. got new teeth. He looks like a million bucks. Hey, Bate. There's my man. New Look teeth. At Look at him. Wow. <laughs> Look at you with the new teeth. Thanks. How you doing, Bate? Not much. I haven't seen you in a while. Where you been? Working out, working out. Working yeah, out. Look, huh? You're handsome. Give me a smile. Thank you. Look at those teeth. Now, wow. let me ask you about those teeth. You were missing teeth for a while. Do they drill them right into your head or can you pull them out? I can pull them out. You can? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> Are you sure they're supposed to come out? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at yeah. that. They come right out. That's amazing. They look really good. Yeah, they're fake. <laughs> do, they, do, do they feel good when you have them in or do they bother you? No, they feel good when I put them in. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at you, man. And you can eat and, and everything with those in? Yeah. Can you eat an apple with them? Or would that, uh, would that be hard? I don't think so, no. No. Now we're doing something really funny. Yeah. He just got them yesterday. Apparently he knows how to take them out, but he doesn't know how to put them back in. Uh, who don't know how to put them back in? <laughs> yeah, you, okay. Who ahead. told you that? Let me see. Put them back in. There he goes. What are you talking about? He's doing it right now. Wait Hold a minute. On. They're not in. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, hey, they're in, uh. B. Oh. Uh. You know how to do it. Now, on the bottom, though, you still have missing teeth. Are they going to be able to... Uh, the bottom one, they, they get to next year. Next, next year. year. Right. Yeah. Why well, do they have to wait so long? I have to wait for another three months. Oh, okay. Now, what, now, boy, oh boy. now, when you lost your original teeth, did you put them under your pillow so the tooth fairy would give you money? No, I just kept them. You kept You still have your teeth? Yeah. Where you do you put them? You know the tooth fairy wants those teeth back. You know about the tooth fairy? Tooth fairy? Nah. The tooth fairy, if you take a tooth that you lose and you put it under your pillow, the next morning when you wake up, money will be underneath your pillow. Oh, I had two or three of them already. Yeah. Well. Yeah, you probably could have paid for your new teeth with the uh, tooth you lost to the tooth fairy. No. <laughs> no, the tooth fairy never had me. Never. <laughs> so Beetlejuice has a lot of projects I want to promote here today, and I want people to know about them. Uh, Beetlejuice has lots of stuff coming up. I, I know that you're um, you're very close to Bob Levy now. You tour with him. You love right. Bob. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, and B Bob told me you, you don't sleep anymore. You barely sleep. Oh, I sleep all day. He says Beetlejuice doesn't sleep. I sleep. And he was saying that you're very jealous of his new fiance. That you don't like her. I don't. Why you don't? Yeah, why don't you like Bob's fiance? I don't know. Yeah, it's weird, right? It's weird, but I don't like it. Wait a minute. Is it because now she's always with Bob? Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't get the time with Bob you used to. No, we don't We don't spend time. We don't, we don't hang around a lot. Let me know? bring her in. I want to find out what's going on. I don't know. That's up to her. All right. I don't know. Isn't she a beautiful girl? I don't know. What you don't you know. Me for? Aren't you happy that Bob's found love? That's good for him. Right, but you don't care that he found love. You, really you don't. lost a friend. That's good for him. And I don't you, care. And you mean you have no ability to know if she's good looking or not? That's how much you dislike her? I don't know. Wow. Why don't you like her? I mean, she's a nice girl, right? He doesn't. I don't, he doesn't, I don't, he doesn't, he doesn't. I don't deal with girls. You don't deal with girls. <laughs> nah. Where's Bob's fiance? Is she here? You know what? No, Bob's I, not I, even here, Howard. Oh, someone told me Bob's fiance was here. No, she's not. Sorry. Oh, okay. Bob's all right. not here either. Oh, all right. Good. Okay. I just didn't know. I, I said, gee, I'd like to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know now, why he wouldn't. I met her. She seemed nice. And someone told me also that you lose your cell phone all the time, that you buy one new cell phone a week. I got a new cell phone. Let I got it in my pocket. Where do you? I got it right here. When you look, but you're losing one a week. It's got I a don't lose them once a week. I still got it. Yeah, but someone said. I, I, I traded it in. That's why. Oh, you're trading them in every week? Yeah. Who do you call on this cell phone? Me? Yeah. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> why do you have a phone? Me? It's I call a couple of my friends. Oh, you Who do? Who do you call? A couple of my friends. Who, Bob Name Levy? Them. Uh, sometimes I call him once in a while. Yeah, and you know their numbers and uh, you, uh, you know how Oh, to... he calls me and I call him. Yeah. Okay. And you know how to dial the phone and all that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I do. All right. Yeah, you know what? I heard a story about Beat. He likes to eat a lot because he can't sleep. Right. No, I don't eat a lot, but I just, on. I'm on a diet. I just don't. I just eat a lot. That's why I'm on a diet. He will get up early, early, early in the morning. They'll be at a, a hotel where there's a buffet. He'll go to the buffet, eat, 
Then he'll leave and go to McDonald's. Oh, not that... for once. On a once. <laughs> See, that's what gets you into trouble with the weight. When you start eating breakfast and then you go to McDonald's, that's too much food. You're going to get fat. But wait a minute, Howard. In fact, I weigh over 28 pounds. But, but, but wait a minute. When everybody else wakes up? Then he goes to breakfast with them at the buffet again. Oh, beat. <laughs> of course, I weighed 28 pounds. That's why. But beat, beat. You know as well as I do. You have a look. You have the girls love you. That's because you're muscular and you're thin. If you start to eat like that, you're going to get fat. Never get fat. Yeah. Never. What is your diet now? What, My diet is over like 250 grand. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what is your, like, what, what do, do you eat? eat? Like, what did you have this morning? Oh, uh, this morning I have, uh, I don't know. Mm. I heard I that you'll think. put, like, 11 pieces of bacon on your plate. Most of the time I does it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that Robin's laying in bed with Jim discussing Beetlejuice's diet. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, please. <laughs> so you have 11 pieces of bacon. There's a lot of fat. Do you know where bacon comes from? Yeah, for pigs. That's right. That's a lot of fat. Yeah. So you got to be careful. Listen, I'm always careful. You know the ladies love it when you're thin. I'm always thin. You be getting laid? Oh yeah, I get laid all the time. You I thought do. you didn't bother with women. Me? I got laid last, last Tuesday. Really? I got to yeah. tell you something. Beetlejuice makes out with the hottest chicks on stage. What are you when talking he, about? When he performs at comedy shows, right. they come up on stage and make out with him, right? The, oh, the lady. definitely. I do it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that. Now the other big thing is uh, that I know about you because I keep tabs on you. Right. You hate Sal. Sal is just a little, little annoying. Yeah, I heard you hate him. What? I thought he used to like Sal. What happened? Well, Sal is a little annoying because a lot of people on the show, they, they say, boo, I don't like you. Get off the stage. I don't like you. And so you don't like him now. <laughs> hey, a lot of people on the stage don't like him. I don't like him. You know, it's what so can true. I do about it? You know, it's true, B. When you see that everybody hates a guy, <laughs> You start to say to yourself, why am I liking him? I, mean, I don't was, know. Right, right, right. So this led you to believe that if right. all these people are booing him, maybe you should boo him too. Hey, I all didn't boo him. A lot of people are out there say, boo, I don't like Sal. He's a scumbag. I don't like him. All right. And so you all start to believe. All these people can't be wrong, right? I don't know. That's <laughs> on them. I can't say. They don't boo you, do they? Oh, no. No. They love it. They boo them, but not me. Yeah, Sal, come in here for a second. I want to know why Beetlejuice hates you. I want to find... Mean, there's a personality He hates play. him? Nah. You do. You don't like Sal. Well, I don't... I ain't say I like him, but I ain't say I hate him. Sal, what's going on with you and Beetlejuice? Do I, do I hate you, Sal? Do I you hate just, you? You just said you hate me. And no, you said I, said I get booed. I say you get booed a lot because a lot of guys out there say you boo. You're they don't boo me. It's just come back to you. No, you. no, that's oh, not true, yes Beetle. They does. <laughs> yes, they does. <laughs> well, what advice would you give Sal to win over the crowd? You've been doing comedy a long time. When well, you... I told him like it is. I told him before. Every time they say boo, it is walk away. Walk away. Yeah, yeah. it works. It works. Yeah. Maybe he should just stay off the stage altogether. We call him the Sammy Davis Jr. of comedy. <laughs> He's but, the new well, man. I'm but, better though. You know that one. Yeah. But you Beatles. know, I always in the back go, you know I don't come out yet. You Beatles, know that. Is it your opinion, professionally, because you've worked with this guy, Right. do you think that Sal should stop being a comedian because people don't like it? I don't know. It's up to him. Yeah. I'll tell you why Beatle don't like me, and I'm not bullshitting you, Howard. Last week, what happened on stage? No woman wanted to come up on stage and have your ugly buck buck teeth hey, lick their hey, ass, right? Hey, so hold on. So oh what no, happened? Oh I no. had to save the show. No, I, I put my ass show. in your face. I put my I ass in his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah chased that, him that, off the stage with my asshole. Yeah, and that, now that's I why you're mad at me. Outside, I came back out. He hates though. my ass. You got to see this, Howard. He came back out, though. Look at him. 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 No, you like, you so like, like psych. 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 Boo, boo, boo. Got you, retard. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, you retarded. I love you, Beat. No, All right, you you're cool, along. though. Yeah, you're cool. All right. Don't worry. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Sorry, there. You know, uh, is that your cell phone ringing right now? No. Nah. No. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. I thought I heard it. Could be. I don't know. Yeah, I thought the. I thought your 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 phone was ringing. So no girl would kiss you last week. Me? Yeah. What happened, Sal? No, uh, no girl. Up. We were begging for a girl to come oh. up on. Oh, oh you was begging. Get your phone. Is that your phone? Be Can you answer, please? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, it's my phone. Yeah. All right. Wait, tell who's me who's calling on. you? Uh, I don't know.
Hello? Hey, B, what's happening? What's going on? How much? What are you doing? Hello? Yeah, V, what's happening? Hello? Pete, it's me. What are you doing? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I got two on phone. <laughs> well, I thought I heard your phone again. I don't know. Let nah. me see. Let me see. Uh, that's your phone. Open it up. Let me let me see yeah? who it is. I'm curious who calls you this time in the morning. <laughs> I don't know who you answer my Who's phone? calling you? <laughs> you can't fool me. Oh, wait. Me. That's your show. <laughs> you can't fool me. You, you figured it out. You uh, can't fool me. Right. Well, anyway, uh, congratulations to Beat. I heard you hit a big milestone in your life. Oh, What's yeah. That? Yeah. But Beat, tell everyone how much you have in your bank account right oh, now. Oh, a lot. A whole lot. I, someone told me when they did the pre-interview, you claim you now have hit $1 million in your bank account. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Beagle is a millionaire? Yep. Yeah, I hit about $4 million, honey. Four? Four. Right. $4 million. You want to go out? <laughs> yeah, I'll take you out. I'll fuck you right on the spot. Wow. All right. <laughs> Levy, Levy pays him a monopoly money, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Who well, ever told you that lie? Well, B, congratulations. It's so good to see you. You look fantastic. Yeah, I love you. You look your like outfit. you're feeling good. You're happy. I'm feeling good right now. Yeah, yeah. You're getting laid. You got $4 million in the bank. Nothing better than that, brother. Oh, yeah. As long as I got girls coming in. Yeah, financial independence. That's what they say. As long as you come to see the fight, you might see it. You know, I, I think back to your early days when you had to do the dwarf tossing and all that. I guess that's behind you now. With oh, you. that's way behind me. Now I'm a fighter now. Who you like for president? Have you been thinking about it at all? Do you Who's vote? running for president? Do you know? I don't know. Oh, all right. Well, Beat doesn't care about that. Who, do you ever vote? I vote once in a while. Yeah. Who'd well, you vote for? Nobody. <laughs> they got uh, they got three main candidates. On, on the Democratic side, they got Barack Obama. Who, I just said they ever got Barack. Right. They got Hillary Clinton. Oh, they got Clinton, but Clinton didn't want to do it. All right. And then you got um, John but, McCain, who was well, a Well, John McCain didn't want to lose, but he didn't want to win. And they feel that Ralph Nader might even enter the contest. Oh, he'd probably be in the contest, but right. he won't be ever. Mayor Bloomberg could enter the contest. I could be. Yeah. How about Abraham Lincoln beat? How about Lincoln? He ain't been in there for like for 12 years. All right. Pretty good. Not bad. He knows more You're than you. You're trying to fool him. Who's the president now? Hey, you know, <laughs> you know, who is the president? Plus, who's the president? Yeah. Ma's friend. Right. Who? Hey, you know who they say might... Bob Fred. Okay. My fat. You know who they say might run? Right. Ma Mayor McCheese from... Um, no, Mayor uh, Bettina. Mayor McCheese from McDonald's. No, Mayor Bettina. All right. Okay. Mexican uh, guy. Right. McCheese. All right. Listen to me, Beat. You're doing right. great. You look great. You got the jogging suit right. on. I love it. I love the gold chain. Uh, where'd you get that piece of jewelry? Uh, it's nice. Well, this jewelry is for boxing. Well, you go out and you'll see more boxing. You're yeah. boxing now? No, I'm training my guys. They boxing. Oh, really? Right? Yeah. Own, they going to Vegas right now to fight. You own a boxer? What? Yeah, I'm yeah, my guys are boxing right now. Who who do you uh, represent? Uh, what's they the guy, own. What's the guy's name? Oh, my guys, but they a little heavy. You know, Richard Christie told me one time, Richard Christie, you know, they do comedy shows together. He yeah. said one time he couldn't find anyone to drink with at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Richard Christie is... Has well, Richard over. Christie, he drinks like 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so he said to me, I had no one to drink with. He says, I, I knocked on Beatles. <laughs> He's all bombed up 3 o'clock in the morning. He said Beatles just was the only one who would drink with him at <laughs> 6 in the morning. And you, and you said... Me? Yeah. Me? I, I don't drink at 6 in the morning. I have been drinking in daytime. Someone told me you were going to uh, train Mike Tyson. Probably. Yeah. You're going to get Mike Tyson back in the ring? Maybe. What Another is it, five years. Beetle yeah. was your drinking partner? You actually went out drinking? Oh, yeah. Beetle has no concept of time. You know, most people won't drink at 7 in the morning, but right. he doesn't know it's 7 in the morning. So Me? I don't drink it in the morning. I drink mine in the daytime. I don't drink it at nighttime. <laughs> you just don't know it's the morning. Well, you drink at, at night. No, I well, don't. We, so what did you do? You so what happened? Where'd you find the bar? At the airport. There's right. usually like a Friday's or something like that open well, early. You probably does it, but, but I it's don't. so funny. We'll you mean start... you were so lonely? You'd rather have a drink with Beat than be by I yourself. I only drink it once. I love drinking with Beetle because he really opens up and talks like a regular guy. Like we have regular conversations. He complains about life at home. About... What does he complain about? Uh, just about, you know, other kids, I guess, and, and and stuff like that. What what do you complain about, Beetle? Me? I never complain about nothing. Bullshit. Brother. You always if I, complain. If I was bullshitting, then you wouldn't know. You wouldn't be there. Come on, B. Hey, B. If you wouldn't have been that miles, I would have been no kill your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, B, do you think Richard Christie is gay? I don't know. You don't know. You I don't know. Him? You probably been gay with some other guy. Will you let me suck your cock and we'll see you? Yeah, you probably suck your own cock. 
Did I mean, you ever let Richard suck your cock? Hell no. No. Dude, I am so good at it. Hell no. Are you crazy? I mean, just, I mean, it won't make you gay. I would do I the ain't gay, gay. one. gay. No. You, you wouldn't you let put, me suck your cock you right now. Why do you think I'm damning? Hey, B, if you put your penis in his wow. mouth, that's not gay. I'm no. not gay. Right. I don't know. And we'll give you $5, Dude, too. $5 to yourself. Wait, Howard? <laughs> you don't need $5. dollars you got $4 million. <laughs> Go ahead. What What if Beetle puts his cock in Richard's ass? Would you ever put your cock in Richard's ass? Hell no. You're, you're no. still the man. I have a nice ass. You want to see it? <laughs> Nobody want to see your ugly ass. Look, <laughs> Look at that Ew. thing. Oh Something wrong. Show me around. Pete, Pete, who has a nicer ass, Richard or me? All right, get, you judge. That guy's just a fucking moron. Beetle. Look at this. Whoa. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whose ass is nicer? Nobody ain't got no ass. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting little fucks. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> Every time Sal puts his ass in Beat's face, Sal, a, a, a Beetlejuice whacks it yeah. right in the air. Hey, wow. I got a bombshell to drop on you about Beetlejuice Howard. What? He hates. Who do you hate on tour? Not me. Oh, this is so great. Really? Jim Florentine. He's oh, got a yeah. big beef with him. Oh, Why? yeah. He's a real scumbag. What's Why do you hate him? him? He smells. <laughs> He's not kidding. Yeah. What he do you mean? Smells? Explain. Yeah, he shits. He shits on himself. <laughs> Does what? he really? Yeah. What, explain what happened. One night we was on the stage. One yeah. night yeah. when we was doing the comedy, I said, "Sal, I said, know what? You, I said, fourteen. Know what? You smell like shit." Yeah. I said, "Why don't you go take a damn shower? You smell." Do you think Jim actually shit himself as a joke to like? What Jim Just does to get on Beatles. Howard, nerves. what does Jim do? He's got this system. It's unbelievable. When he feels a fart coming on, he sucks it in with his ass cheeks and he <laughs> lets it sit in there and like mm. just sit and ferment in his asshole. Right. And he'll do that all night. And then finally, all that gas builds up. He goes by Beetlejuice and he goes right by his face oh. and he farts. That's the guy you're gonna. That's the guy you're in a relationship with. I wanted. I wanted to kill him. No, you no, wanted to kill him. No, no. Oh yeah. Out of respect to Robin, you didn't. I wanted to. Do you yeah. believe Robin's fucking this guy? No, I'm not. Beat. Uh, I heard everybody so he told everybody you was fucking. <laughs> he <laughs> he was telling everybody. That's not true. You don't believe that. He's got pictures, right, Beat? He said he got pictures of you buck ducky. He's fucking your backside and stuff. Uh, you don't believe that. I don't know. He, that's what he said. But, Beatle, all, all seriousness, Robin's a classy lady, a refined lady. You like her. Um, why is she with Jim Florentine, a guy who smells? She's actually dating him. I don't know. Yeah, but you I would recommend that she breaks up with him. I guess so. Yeah. Wow. You think I should just get rid of him? Get rid of him if you wanted to. Would you date Robin Beetle? Yeah, I would. <laughs> sure he would. So Where then would you... I can throw Jim off. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> what, what, what would you do with her on a date? Me? Yeah. Oh, I'd take her out and fuck. <laughs> wow. That's, a, date. That's, That's a real man. You and Jim have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah, but Excuse Jim couldn't me? fucking handle it. Jim can't fuck her good, right? Jim couldn't handle it. Jim can't fuck her good. Ah, I don't think so. No. He's like a woman. Oh, I'm like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even sissy. a woman. He's a girl. You know, you know something else about Beetle. What I thought Sal was going to say is, you know who Beetle hates on tour too is the Iron Sheik. Oh, do like, you? They they the, hate each other. Well, the high seat, I don't hate them. <laughs> you, you but well, y'all guys are hating them. I, I no, don't hate them. No, no, when we were in San Diego backstage. I don't hate the guy. The I don't hate the guy. I love the guy. We were, I don't hate the guy. <laughs> we were in San Diego backstage. And I, don't, Iron, I don't hate the guy. Iron, Wait a minute. What happened? Okay, Beetle's Iron, scared of him. <laughs> Yeah. Be scared of him. Me scared of him? No. Be scared of the Sheik, Beat. The no, Iron, like, Iron Sheik will be talking backstage and Beetle <laughs> will start mocking him. He'll start going, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'll like, mock him, but I don't mess with him. But, and Iron Sheik will hear him and get mad. And yeah, in San can Diego. Get mad. I can get mad too, so what's the hell? In San Diego, the Sheik comes off stage after so his appearance. I. He looks at Beetle, he goes, That's how you fucking do it, motherfucker, you piece of shit. Like, yeah, you're yelling at yeah, Beetle. He loves it. He and, loves it. And Beetle wasn't even scared. Scared. He just turns his back right hey, on the iron. He sheet. loves it. He loves it. He's a great man, but he loves it. Do you think you could beat Eric the Midget in a fight? Eric the Midget, I beat the shit out of that kid. Yeah. Right. I beat the crap out of him. Yeah, he's a good guy. You don't, you don't have to go beat him up. Beetlejuice oh. is uh, now specializing in bedside hospital visits. <laughs> what? Oh. That's right. He has a whole new business. <laughs> yeah, a lot of money in yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of money. You in go that. visit people in the hospital? Yeah. Oh yeah. You've done it already. 
Yeah. Yeah, and you cheer them up? Oh, cheer them up all the time. Did you ever meet anyone who's dying? or? Oh, yeah, little kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wow. What do you charge a little kid who's dying? Oh, this goes there. 20 bucks, 100 bucks. What do you give? I'll give him 100 bucks. You, oh, he gives you 100 bucks or you give him 100 bucks? I'll give him 100 bucks. Oh, so how do you make money at that? Hey, keep the kid alive. Oh, all right. They'll you, pay later. <laughs> are you ever asked to pull the plug on anyone? Like they say, go in, the guy's suffering. Uh, no, nah, never pull the plug on a guy, all never. Right. Uh, Beetlejuice now specializes in bedside hospital visits. To book him, go to jollydwarf.com. Wow. If you want to check out Beach Comedy Dates, uh, you can do that also at revboblevy.com, of course. He's right. uh, available Your buddy. for there. That's right. right. So you're making a good living and everything's good. I like that. Right. Uh, and... Uh, do you want to tell anyone about Tahiti Village? Are you involved in that? Uh, oh, yeah. You can tell them whatever you want. You give them a free three days, two nights, or whatever it is. You know, three days and three nights. Right. <laughs> Howard, I went out to lunch recently with Beetlejuice. We went We went to a Chinese the restaurant. The two of you. Yes, yeah. together. Yeah. And, Did you, you know, really? Yes, for is real. Is that difficult? Yeah, the f thing is that uh, it's funny when Beetlejuice grabs the menu. He usually grabs it and turns it upside down. He's staring at the desserts upside down. Yeah. But when the waitress comes to buy, he'll look up and down at he's it. Saying, and yeah, he's legitimately reading it. What's your favorite dish, Beetlejuice? What where do you is like? the dessert? Dude? What do you like? What do you like at the Chinese restaurant? What do you order? Oh, just a couple of food. Is that this? Uh, chicken chow mein? Uh, chicken chow mein. Egg well, sung young. Egg sung young. No matter where we are. What, what, what else? Whatever it is, I don't care. Long what's, your favorite, what's your favorite Chinese food dish out of them all? Um, I don't know, but I don't know. You don't know the name of fried your Fried rice? Well, fried rice is a little different. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, Peter loves chicken, so I help him when we go there, Harry. I eat chicken once in a while, but yeah. now all the time. So uh, when I opened up the uh, the menu, it said uh, dragon chicken. So when the waitress came by, chicken, there ain't no dragon chicken in there. Right. It's only just fried chicken wings. Man. Well, what happened was that day I said, "Who was fooling?" <laughs> I said, "Beat, would you like the dragon chicken?" He goes, "No way, man." He goes, "I don't eat dragon." <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't. You won't uh, eat a dragon. No, no nah. dragon. No, nah, no dragon nah. for you. No, no dragon food there. Yeah, oh, fucking, hell no. Well, good for well, you. If I ever was eating dragon food, you'd be eating pigs. I don't eat red meat either. I don't eat dragon. <laughs> Myself. All right. What pigs, does dragon steady. taste like? Airbnb pigs. All right. Well, beat. Listen. Congratulations on all your success. You know I'm on, in your corner. Congratulations on your new teeth. You got a great new look. You look handsome as hell. Uh, and thank you for appearing today. Thank you. All right. And uh, the great Beetlejuice, as I said, will be all over the place tomorrow night. Park Street Patio, Columbus, Ohio. Saturday at Big Nose Kate's in Staten Island. And plus, they got girls coming out. Girl. He brings girls Girl, out. I got go, go girls coming out tonight. All right. All They're right. going to be dancing all over the place. Mm. March 15th at Ashes Cigar Club in Red Bank. I mean, you got you got a whole itinerary. Again, the hospital visit business is going very, very uh, well. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. Uh, he's great fun at a hospital. Oh, yeah. Up oh, there's your phone again. Can you answer it? Just see who it is. I don't know who it is. See who it is. See who it is. I don't know who it is, but it's... Let's see who it is. Hi, Pete. Hey, what's up, Alex? <laughs> How you doing? Not much. I got a big wet pussy. Yeah, big white cock. <laughs> white cock? I got a pussy. <laughs> can't fool you. What you can't fool me, Alec. Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> you can't fool me. Howard's picking his nose. That's why his hand's over his mouth. Uh, you can't pick for me. No, 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 no. This is um Susie. Hey, Susie. Hey, Susie Locker. I don't have a penis. I have a vagina. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I swear vagina to God. He already ball. put his phone away, Howard. He's my, not my vagina's so wet right now. My balls are so wet right now. <laughs> Join me and Robin in bed later. Oh, Robin loves the fuck at the same yeah, time. She my balls does. are very dry. <laughs> Your balls are dry? Oh, oh, yeah, it's very wet. You like it? I gotta go now. Okay, goodbye. What, what is it like when you wow. talk dirty in bed, Beat? What do you oh, say? Oh, I only talk dirty when I'm in bed with women. Well, tell me what you say. Well, talk to him dirty. He'll talk back to you. If you want I don't to even know how to talk dirty. Well, oh, you know, dirty you know means, to means dirty. pussy. <laughs> what? Dirty means pussy. Uh huh. So what do you say? Uh, that means aqua means means fucking. All right. Yeah? Listen, we've had enough of this. RedBobLevy.com. <laughs> Go check out Beetlejuice's whole itinerary. Beat, you're always great. Right. And we love checking in with you. I'm gonna take a break, Beat. Okay. And uh, we'll be back later after Good these. Good to see you.